They are experiences that even staggers a classic car fan who has seen a lot. A team of Classic Car TV was allowed to visit the complete storage of a former car recycling company for the first time and film it. Vintage parts are mass. Between incredulous amazement and carefree bewilderment, we realized that the extent of a life's work from 1948 until 1987 is slowly strolling past us on crowded shelves, stored in two deep stores under the ground and three floors skyward. A labyrinth of hallways, intermediate floors, rooms behind doors, attics under narrow sliding covers and selected terraces are hidden in the big building. New rooms with other classic cars inerts unfold behind narrow climbs and steep ladders. And again a shelf. It was once a place of acid stripping and each little part of a donor car was kept here. It is unsuitable for people with claustrophobia. Any small niche is filled with neatly labeled classic car parts today. How could this immense wealth of components still remain? We travel back in the 1950s. The former owner of the car recovery had taken over the family business founded in 1922 and kept account neatly on any car that was delivered and taken accurately apart. Only what really was no longer for use was then pressed in the self-built machine to an elaborate looking square fabric scrap piece. The warehouse was filled with every wheel. The front mask occupied more and more space. The fenders and doors closely lined up sorted by brands and models. Every corner is filled up to the last spot. Cylinder heads of all brands crowd the shelves. Yellow label signs which flash between the radiators, instruments and indicators. The make of each alternator and the year of construction are listed on the walls. The only dead end is under the attic where hundreds of tanks were stored up to the last spot. Anyway, a lack of space must have been a chronic problem in those days. If there was no further space, even in the underground, new space was created with a pickaxe and shovel. Passing a hall with Volkswagen Beetle fenders, the way continues into the American hall, where a vast amount of US car parts are lined up. Chevrolet, Mustang, Buick, familiar names and color shades in all shapes. Citroen parts can be found in a different floor and high above a world of windscreens, windows and rear windows. Many shelves seem hardly not accessible. The Grand Tour starts in the big hall, having a big variety of stored motors, from the race cars to a lot of mini motors, British brands such as Sunbeam, Wolseley and Austin, Italian and French brands and the US cars such as Mustang. Everything is to be found. The current owner of the estate was surprised himself by the magnitude of what he had taken over two years ago. Vehicles on the property had been recovered until 1987. 
Then everything ended and nobody took care of the collection. In the meanwhile, the old car parts have become prestigious vintage car parts. At the conclusion of the contract, the buyer promised his predecessor that he would not give the parts into the scrap press. A big word in the face of the mass and all the surprises. New compartments were discovered months after the first inspection of the site. One day, a former customer of the car provider showed us the way to a room with complete original seats, tells us the current owner and smirks. Although the parts are labelled, a real system cannot be recognized in the overall situation. For a year now, the corridors in the classic megastore are cleared to be able to move the gears for the large dissolution. Fatul Karaki, 21 years old, is commissioned by the owner with the task of conducting the clearing work. Bulk buyers and part specialists for certain brands will get special packages according to brand and corresponding prices. Thank you.